Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Shark Light. You're here at the Harrison Manor, which we can wiggle our way around. Start peeking I'm through windows. Oh. The turkey looks fucking scrumptious. Good evening, Mr. Harrison. What seems to be the trouble? You know damn well what the trouble is. I've got that blasted plague. Hmm. What symptoms have you been having? Last week, the coughing started. Since then, it's only gotten worse. And yesterday, I hacked up some blood. I've had a fever all of today, and haven't felt like eating anything since yesterday. Not to mention, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Hmm. I see. Have you been in contact recently with anyone showing symptoms of the disease? Well, two weeks ago I was relaxing outside in my yard when some vagrant came by to ask if I could spare any food. Well, naturally I told him I couldn't, but he became belligerent when he heard that and spat in my face. To think, a man of my stature with green lung. I can't imagine the scandal. Green lung doesn't discriminate, Mr. Harrison. It can affect anyone. So can you do anything for me, Doctor? Not to worry. You're in good hands. Your support of the Ministry of Knowledge means you'll receive only the finest care the government can offer. I'm going to give you a dose of vaccine. That should fix you up by morning. But you'll need to get another dose in about a month's time. Why can't you eggheads at the Ministry of Medicine get off your collective asses and develop a cure already? We're trying. Believe me, this isn't an easy disease to cure, but the treatment works almost instantly. You'll see. So, I'm stuck getting this injection once a month for the rest of my life? I'm afraid so, although I'm sure you'll agree that it beats the alternative. Mm, yes, well, that is true. I could be dying in the streets like those filthy mongrels in the quarantine zone. Yes, with the monthly injection you won't have to worry about entering the terminal phase. Let's not think about that. No dreadful business, really. Let's focus on my treatment. Of course. Just hold still a moment. There we go. You should feel like a new man in just a few hours. Now, I'm going to leave an appointment card here for you. Just bring it to the Ministry of Medicine when you're due for your next vaccine dose. Can't I send my servant to get it for me and bring it back here? The green lung vaccine is a valuable commodity, Mr. Harrison. We don't release it to just anyone. So can't you just come back and shoot me up when it's time? I don't want to have to go all that way. We'll see. I know you've curried favor with the aristocracy, but I'll leave the card here just in case. Oh, and I'll leave a little something with your butler to help you sleep. But give the vaccine a few minutes to circulate before you take it. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. Think nothing of it. Feel better, Mr. Harrison. Hmm. That card is my ticket into the Ministry. But how am I supposed to get it? Break through that fucking window and take it. That old man ain't Damn, gonna do shit. Where is that confounded servant of mine? Well, he rang the bell, so the servant should be gone. I've given him a dose of vaccine. He should be back to normal by tomorrow. Oh, joy. I'm so relieved. If it's any help, I have some sleeping pills for him. He should be ready to take them shortly. Good. At least that'll give me some more peace for a while. Soon enough, he'll start ringing that damn bell for everything again. Well, I wish you luck. I need to head back to the Ministry now. Thank you, Doctor. Have a nice evening. You too. Huh, it's unlocked. Would you look at that? It's like a portable well. I'm sure no one will notice one missing ladle.
I don't see how I can use that there. I don't know. I don't see how I can use that there. I don't see how I can use that there. I don't see. I don't. I don't. I don't see. I don't see how I. found some food. Rich, creamy, and all in all, an excellent soup. I just can't get enough of this stuff. My compliments to the chef. One word, delicious. Max a super achievement. Get this Nobody turkey. else is gonna eat it. Hmm. A little dry, but at least it's better than nothing. <laughs> Man, she's in here eating all the shit. It looks stale. I'd rather not. Looks like someone hasn't washed up yet. <sighs> and so it begins. up there you rang for me sir about 10 minutes ago what on earth took you so long I was never mind the excuses just give me one of those sleeping pills the doctor gave you yes sir will you be wanting it with your usual lemon and elderberry tea that's fine then if you'll excuse me I'll return shortly Finally, I thought he'd never get to sleep. Quietly now. Guess they don't lock windows here. So now I'm stealing an old man's only means of getting more vaccine. I really hope there's something in the ministry worth finding, Danton. I mean, this guy's pretty oh, douchey. No. I don't feel too bad. Uh, no, please. Of all the times. Man, what? Uh, who's there? Shit! Ophelia? Is that you? They, they told me you were dead. Oh, my dear Ophelia. Come back to take care of me while I'm sick. I knew you would. Ophelia? Are you there, my love? Was a little too close. All right, now we should be able to get into the Ministry of Medicine. Just had to come back, huh? Eh, uh, I keep you around for some things. <laughs> I'll knock it off, Amy. You sound almost happy to see me. Denby, you mentioned before you were good at copying handwriting. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could copy this doctor's writing? Shouldn't be a problem. What do you need me to do? 
Change the name on this card to mine. Oh, yeah, easy. Just give me two minutes. Master Forger of Signatures. There you go. Hey, nice job. Thanks. Don't get into any trouble, Dunby. I just forged a government document for you, Amy. I think that's kind of impossible now. Touche, touche. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? I am here to see Dr. Collins. Is that so? I assume you have an appointment? Yes, I I've got my card right here. So you do? All right, I'll open the door for you. You'll be checked in and directed to his office. Enjoy your day, and I hope you'll feel better. Thanks. Here goes nothing. Uh, hello, miss. May I help you? I've got an appointment with Dr. Collins. I see. Is there a problem? Uh, well, how can I put this kindly? You don't exactly look like our normal type of visitor. What does that mean? It's just the way you're dressed. It's not typical of the people we normally see here. How exactly did you get your appointment, if I may ask? Oh, uh... I guess it's because I've got the perfect life. What? Is Danton stupid? Didn't she at least tell you to get a disguise? Well, she did, actually, but I found a better way. You do realize how much you stand out, right? If you try and see the doctor looking like that, they'll call security and have you escorted out. Then they'll start asking me questions about why I let you in, and things will only escalate from there. So, any ideas on how I can get a disguise? I'll have to think about it. Just don't go any further into the Ministry until we figure something out. Hey. What can I help you with? Is the central storage room accessible from here? Sorry, I don't know. They keep the location secret. I'm not at a high enough rank to have that information. What's that panel used for? It's a directory. Navigating the Ministry can be a bit daunting, so it's designed to ease the process. People still manage to get lost, though. I don't know why they made this place so confusing. So have you thought of a place to get a disguise yet? Honestly, the only place I can think of would be the staff locker room. It's just down the hall. Hopefully you won't run into anybody on the way there. Just look it up on the directory so you know where to go. And be extremely careful. If my cover gets blown because of you... I'll be discreet, I promise. Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Better save. In case we get popped. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Uh, I'd like some directions, please. Please say the name of the room you would like directions to. The staff locker room? One moment, please. Walk down the hall two meters, then make a left. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. Nice bag. I'm guessing it belongs to whomever owns the coat. Looks like this cleaning cart is mainly used for storing bottles. Interesting. Tin, bottle, brag, all mine. Now 
Nice to see they keep this place clean. This one is empty, but I can see the lock mechanism and it's surprisingly simple. It shouldn't be too tough to jimmy one of these open. I just need something thin to get in the door frame. Locked, of course. How about a card? This should do the trick. Aha! This set of clothes looks promising. All it's missing are some shoes. Fancy I outfit. Not a complete outfit yet. That shit I don't on. see how I. These are a pair of men's shoes. They're too big for me. Oh come on. No one will know. I've already got a bucket, and I'm not in the mood to start cleaning anything up. Let's see what we've got in here. Hmm. Nothing much except a pair of shoes. They look like they might fit. Right. I'd better make this quick. I mean, you could have got dressed right there. Nobody's watching. Oh, that was nice. I can't remember the last time I took a hot shower. And a hot shit all over the floor, hopefully. The Ministry seems like a pretty tight ship. I don't think I'll be able to disguise myself in this doctor's coat without raising any suspicions. But let's just see if there's anything in the pocket. Nope, nothing. Oh well, it was worth a try. Welcome to the mystery. Yeah, we know, uh, bitch. I please. Doctor Collins' office. One moment, please. Follow the west wing hallway. Three doors down. Then make two rights, followed by a sharp left. It is the fourth door on the left. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thank you for using this directory. This seems like it might be interesting reading material. For over 25 years, the Ministry of Medicine has been providing nothing but the best in health care for citizens. With the support given by the population and their generous donation of time and resources, the Ministry has been able to make progress in great amounts. With continued support, it may be possible to reach pre-bomb conditions well within the next five to ten years. We at the Ministry encourage you to consider donating whatever you can spare in order to further our research. In exchange, will be provided with exclusive treatment options and resources, unlike anything available to the lesser classes. Contact the Ministry today to make your donations. And you will be building a better tomorrow. What is that fucking weirdness? Yes, may I help you? Hooker, I got an appointment. I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Do you have your appointment card? Uh, yes, it's right here. Great. Hmm. Amy Wellard. I don't seem to have you in the registry. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay, not a problem. Just fill out this form for me, have a seat, and we'll call you in shortly. Thanks. I'm just worried they're going to give him the maximum punishment. I don't know what to tell you. The aristocracy doesn't take kindly to that sort of thing. Have you been able to speak with him? No. They took him in for questioning yesterday. Not even family can see him until they decide what they're going to do. I guess the worst case scenario is he ends up in Rockwall for a few years. I can't believe he could be so selfish as to not even consider what this will do to his family. What am I supposed to tell my grandchildren? No, your daddy won't be home for Christmas because he was selling counterfeit lottery tickets to poor people. At least they'll know not to do what he did. Miss Wellard, you can go inside. Dr. Collins will be in to see you momentarily. Oh, and if you need to schedule a follow-up appointment, don't forget to speak to me afterwards.
Holy shit, anatomy charts. None of this makes any sense to me. Bodies aren't exactly my area of expertise. They are mine. Especially I guess that's the female to body. Be a drawing of a brain? Doesn't look very comfortable. There's a lot of interesting looking stuff on this table. There's lots of scribbles and notes on here. Hmm. There's one that says, This week's CS password equals next week's surgery. That's probably important. I'll just copy it down. Well, maybe just one won't hurt. Well, maybe just two won't hurt. I'll just have one more. I mean, we gotta get that sweet to an achievement, don't we? This jar is full of little flat wooden sticks. I don't even want to know what they're used for. Sticking up your nose. I've seen one of these before, I think. Doctors use them to listen to people's hearts. Probably to hold your tongue down, I would imagine. It says, I love you, Dr. C. And it's signed, I.S. That's the fanciest paper towel dispenser I've ever seen. I should probably wait until the doctor gets here before I sit on the table. Good afternoon, Miss Willard. Hello, Dr. Collins. I've been informed that this is your first visit, is that right? Yes, that's right. You look somewhat familiar. Are you sure you haven't been here before? Yes, I'm sure. You must just have one of those faces. In any case, what are you here for today? I have green lung. The symptoms started about a week ago. I see. If you'll just have a seat on the examination table, I'll do a quick checkup and administer your vaccine dose. There you are. You should notice a decrease in All symptoms. All right, we got a month to live. Thank you, doctor. Oh, Miss Wellard? Yes? I swore an oath to do no harm and heal the sick, so I would never turn away someone seeking vaccine. But I'd like to offer you a suggestion. When sneaking around other people's houses, don't stand so close to the windows. I'm sure you're aware of the consequences if you were ever caught. Understood. Damn, doctor's on point. Yes, may I help you? I was told to schedule a follow-up appointment. Of course. Let me just show you our calendar, and you can pick a date that works best for you. I don't think I can make another appointment for today. There's already something scheduled on that day. How about this date? Perfect. I'll pencil you in. All set. See you soon, Miss Wellard. Welcome to uh Central storage. One moment. Error. Password required. I'm sorry. You do not have proper clearance to access that information. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. Check in. Yes, may I help you? I 
I just want you to know, I've got the perfect life. Well, obviously you don't if you're seeing a doctor, but I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> obviously you don't, bitch. Do you know where I can find central storage? No, and even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to tell anyone. Why are you asking? Just curious. I heard someone talking about it in the hallway. Well, I don't think they should have been. The people in charge don't like loose lips. I'll forget I heard anything then. Is it possible to- Sure. That Take a look at the calendar at- There's already something scheduled. How about this- Perfect. I'll pencil you- All set? See- This looks like something someone would have in their home, not at a doctor's office. I'm not sticking my hand in there. Hi there, I'm Amy. What? Oh, hello, I'm Robert. Was there something in particular you wanted? Not really, I was just saying hello. I see. Well, not to be rude, but I've got a lot on my mind. I'm not really in the mood for small talk. Okay then, forget I said anything. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood to talk to- well, Fuck you then, you old bitch! A recruiting poster for the vaccine lottery. I can't deny it's an effective campaign. I guess that goes into the doctor's office. So there's something else we gotta do here. We gotta get that password. Yes, Maybe may I help you? look at next week's surgery. I was told to schedule a follow-up appointment. Of course. Let me just show you our calendar. It says vaccination, Karen Schmidt. It says surgery, Paul Scott, medulla oblongata. It says vaccination, Anthony Prescott. How about this date? Perfect. All set. All right, now we should be able to. Welcome to. Uh. Send. Emma, I'm Medulla oblongata uh, is the password. Medulla oblongata. Password accepted. One moment, please. Central storage is located to the left of the administrative cafeteria. It is the unmarked door next to the cleaning closet. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this direct- Well, if someone was careless enough to leave this box cutter here, we'll just go with the old finder's keepers rule. Damn right. There. That should muffle the alarm if it goes off. Okay, let's get some of this cleaner in the bucket. I wrote down what it said on the top. This week's see it. This medical form will be more useful in here. Of course it will. If I cut this wire, know if the terminal will affect anything in the room. Well, now if the alarm goes off, the alert will at least be limited to this room. I'd rather not. My, it's got some incredible. This looks like a good spot. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, that did making it. smoke. I'll put out the fire before it gets out of control. My God, 
there's enough vaccines stored in here to treat the entire population for years. Of course there is. Danton was right. The government has been lying to everyone all along. This isn't right at all. The people need to know the truth. Alrighty, folks, it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Shard Light. See you soon.